Hello friends and welcome back to the Dork Side. I'm the Dork in the Road and here we are at Moto Corsa in Portland to check out the new Ducati motorcycles including the Ducati Desert X. That's right, I'm the Dork in the Road and I want to be your internet riding buddy so please consider subscribing. Look who's here. It's Travis. It's Beers, Bikes, and Camping. He's here. Duck Fan's here too, but you can't see him. He's invisible, right? Correct. Yeah, correct. He's correct. That's correct. And my name is Jason Chang, wow, I'm the from last. North America. It's an honor for me to be able to be here tonight and to be able to actually share with you guys what we're doing this year for Ducati. And then we call this Ready for Red. And the whole reason why we do this is because at the end of the day, while we make amazing motorcycles, it's about this. It's about the people, it's about the community, and it's an opportunity for us to get together, see the smiling faces that we've missed for the last couple of years. So this is a motorcycle that in my opinion, is something that we've been waiting for for a long time. And myself, a guy growing up in the desert, I've always loved our motorcycles and the sport nature of our motorcycles. And while we ventured into some areas like the Multistrada, we're gonna be able to get out and play in the dirt a little bit. The reality is, is that there, we, have, we found ourselves having some limitations of really how far we can push that bike. So ladies and gents, the new Ducati Desert X. Yeah! Like I said, it's a really exciting bike, not only for us, but for me personally. So starting where we usually do, and that's the engine and the heart of the motorcycle. We've actually fitted this with a 937 Pesca 11 degree motor in it. Sounds like a mouthful, but at the end of the day, this is an incredible motor. This is a motor that we use in the Hyper Motor 950 and the Super Sport 950. It delivers 110 horsepower, but then also 18,000 miles between service intervals. We've actually optimized the transmission for being better for off-road riding. For those of you, anybody here in the house off-road riders? Yeah! yeah there we go. Okay, so you know why we shortened the first and second gear. Thank yeah. you. Because you need to crawl that thing sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you're going and all of a sudden you realize that, no, i got to slow down. It's not always about speed, it's about that control and navigating it. And you don't want to be in first gear and realizing you need to get to second and then it's too high of a gear. So we've actually shortened both those gears that allow you to do that so that you can navigate around that stuff without burning and feathering out the clutch. So this chassis has been developed for off-road use specifically with that in mind. With the 21-inch wheel, the first time in a production motorcycle that we've done since the 70s, 18-inch rear comes standard. Of, of course, I talked a little bit about why wheel configurations are important off-road, but the other thing a lot of people don't know is that it gives you more options for the type of tires that you get to use. A very good travel of suspension with nine in, nine in the front and eight in the rear, uh, almost nine in the rear, and then a really good ground clearance as well on the motorcycle, almost 10 inches. In addition, there is a 2.1 uh, gallon auxiliary fuel tank, which actually can be put on the back of the motorcycle. As you can see, this one doesn't have it fitted, but it can be retrofitted to the motorcycle. And what's really cool is as you run out of fuel in the front, you can push a button on the dash and it, or the handlebars and it will transfer fuel from the rear to the front of the motorcycle so that you have that proper balance bias of weight as well. In terms of the electronics, this is where, of course, Ducati comes into play. We've thrown the book at it, but you can see the display here. This is the standard display that comes on it, the standard mode with the RPM gauge, gear position indicator, and, uh, and the speed. This is actually the rally mode that's on there of Trickmaster. In addition, there's also turn-by-turn -turn navigation available as well, that's optional. In addition, for those of you that want to use your own navigation, there's an aluminum bar, an accessory bar that wraps around it, so you can mount something up on top of it as well. There are six riding modes, and these riding modes, there's actually two of them that are dedicated to off-road riding. 
One of them that's enduro mode that's actually been utilized on a lot of our motorcycles up to this point, which actually has a lower delivery of power that's much smoother from really when you're in more technical riding. Uh, and let's call it like a reasonable high level of intervention in terms of some of the electronic aids. But then there is the rally mode. And rally mode is full horsepower, low intervention. That's when you find that nice open piece of dirt, hard packed dirt and you want to rip it. The thing that's really nice also in both of those modes, there's the ability to turn the ABS off. And you don't have to go into the dash and set it up. You can actually, there's a button right on the handlebars. You can turn the ABS off when in those modes which if you're riding off-road, you generally don't want the ABS. Even though there is an enduro ABS, it's still, I prefer myself to have the control of the braking when I'm off-road riding. Like so this that. is the new Ducati Desert X. It's a really exciting time for us because not only is this a cool bike that we get to bring to market, but it also opens the doors for not only our existing Ducati riders to, let's say, get a little bit more dirty than they're used to, but also bring new people to the world of Ducati. Because I know there's a lot of people that have always maybe say admired us from afar, but we hadn't built a bike for them. Those days are gone. I mean, our plan is to continue to bring new product to market that will help expand what we do, but stay true to who we are as well. So I want to thank you guys for your time tonight. I look forward to seeing you all up there on the roads, in the circuits, hopefully in the dirt as well. And let's have a kick-ass year for 2022. Thank you much. Cool opportunity to see the new Desert X. That is an impressive machine. Uh, there's lots of people going very fast. There's a wheelie. We must be at a Ducati dealership. So that is a sweet bike. I was struck by how small it looks and how small it seems. I think I was expecting something akin to the Multistrada. And it is more like a KTM 890 or even smaller, I might venture to say. It's like a 34 and a half inch seat height, which is very low. So that's pretty accessible. Um, sweet looking bike, definitely worth considering. And at 17,000, it's expensive, but not crazy. It's still less than a BMW. Like, what do you think, man? It's interesting. I'll have to ride one for sure. Mr. Ducati over here is pretty meh, apparently on the Desert X. I thought he'd be more excited. He was all stoked on the, uh, on the V4. That's his jam. All right, well, we're gonna head home. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of the Ducati Desert X and everything else going on at this event here at Moto Corsa. I know that I did. And for now, and as always, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, thank you. Excellent! Yeah. Hung's here with this 901. Hello. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I love this bike. <laughs> yeah? Very happy with your purchase? I am very happy with my purchase. Thanks, bro. It's Husqvarna's version of that Desert X. Yeah, yeah essentially. Yeah, it's definitely one. <laughs>